Welcome back. It's time now for Imagine at 925. And I'm joined by my dear friend here, Carl Nelson, who's going to not make me look silly today. Oh, no, right? no, no. <laughs> have, have you ever seen that deal where people smash uh, soda cans on their forehead? Yeah. Uh -huh. We're not going to do that. Okay. We're going to do just the opposite. <laughs> okay? I, okay. I figured you wouldn't be up for that. We're actually going to rip them apart. In fact, I shouldn't even say we, you are going to rip some pop cans apart with your bare hands. <sighs> okay. So, but for safety, let's put on some gloves right. just so you don't uh, hurt yourself here. And, uh, Looking out for me, Carl, yeah, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And uh, we're going to take one of these uh, Pepsi cans, and you're just going to pick it up, and I just want you to show us how strong you are. Just rip that thing in half. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Okay, you ready? <gasps> Dang. Oh. <laughs> I guess That's, I worked out today. That is very nice. You have been working out. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so obviously there's a little setup here, right? Maybe. I mean, just a little. Oh, wow. Carl. Okay, all right, all right. No, there was. Okay, so what I did back at Imagination Station was uh, put some... Uh, compound inside the aluminum can to etch away a little bit of the aluminum. Oh. Go ahead and rip another one in Okay. Half. If I etch away a little of the aluminum inside, it makes it incredibly easy for you to tear the can so apart. So what are you saying? I'm really weak? I'm not saying that. <laughs> what I'm saying is you're able to rip a pop can in half. Okay, okay? that's okay? cool. All now, right. Now the deal is, it's not as easy as just putting like an acid inside the can mm -hmm. because inside a can, well, you know, with Pepsi, Pepsi has carbonic acid in it. Okay. Okay, that acid would normally attack the aluminum so can manufacturers get kind of clever. They put inside the can a plastic liner. And I've got oh. a couple examples here where, go ahead and take that. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, can we, we can see that? can show off the, in fact, this one oh, yeah. is a little bit etched, but I have a little bit of the aluminum still on there. Okay. So what I did here is I sanded off the paint on the outside, mm -hmm. etched away the aluminum, so you can see what the liner looks like. In fact, um, this one's even better. I like this one oh, here. Oh, yeah. So go ahead and take that one. All right. Bounce it up and down. You can actually see how, how oh, light yeah. and flexible that liner is. And that's what's protecting the aluminum from whatever beverage that's inside there. Could be beer, could be cola, could be anything. Huh. Stops it from being etched. That's neat. So to make your amazing tear in half cans, um, I scratch the inside a little bit to get through that liner. Okay. So that my uh, copper chloride solution could attack the aluminum. Interesting. And that allows you to just rip them right in half. So I'm not quite that strong then. That's what well, you're saying, no, Carl. Here, do it again. I mean, all right, show, all right. show them how time. strong you are. All right, ready? <laughs> Oh, look at that. See, that just makes me look so awesome. Doesn't that feel I good? I love it. Yes, this is great. <laughs> this is great therapy. Yeah. I it's, love it's, this. it's really cool, though, the, some of the science that goes into uh, packaging mm -hmm. with the uh, clear liner inside there. I would have never guessed that that was inside. Yeah. Huh. Protect the can. Inside everything that we drink that's inside of a can. Pretty much everything that's inside a can that's made of aluminum has a liner inside of it. Awesome. To protect the aluminum. Well, you learn something new every day, Carl. Thanks yeah. so much for sure. coming in. And uh, we do want to mention a couple things <coughs> happening this weekend down at Imagination Station. Yeah, we have Diego from Go Diego Go on awesome. Sunday from 1 to 4. Okay. So come down and check that out. And then also, of course, every Saturday, uh, Lucas County residents 12 and under are free Great. with an adult. Awesome. And it is also spring break for some kids out there. It is. In fact, because it is spring break, we're open every Monday in the month of April. Oh, cool. So normally we're closed, but we're open every Monday. All right. Um, actually, every day in April except for Easter. Awesome. Carl, so thanks so much. That's sure. this week's Imagine It. Sasha.